How to X-ray a hand by Kaylee and Ashton. The common positions for X-raying a hand are PA, oblique, and lateral. Before you start, set up the exam room and pull up the patient information. When you go get your patient, make sure to check their armband. After you are in the room, inform the patient of the procedure, remove all jewelry, and if they are female, ask if there is any chance of pregnancy. Here's an example of what the room setup for an x-ray hand should look like. Here's an example of the standard SID and technique for a hand x-ray in a digital room. Your first position will be a PA hand. Your central ray will be on the third MCP joint. You will not use a grid. Collimate to all four sides of the hand and place your marker on the lateral side of the hand, although your tech may have a different preference for your marker placement. And make sure you shield your patient. The anatomy demonstrated in your PA hand should be the entire hand, wrist, and one inch of the distal forearm. The second position you will do is a PA oblique hand. Here's an example of what an oblique hand will look like if you are looking at it from different angles. Your second position will be on a PA oblique hand. Your central ray will be on the third MCP joint. Rotate the hand into a 45 degree angle. An angled sponge is also available for positioning you will not use a grid and also collimate down to four sides of the hand and shield your patient. For a PA oblique hand, make sure you include the entire hand, wrist, and one inch distal of the forearm. Make sure the joints are open without foreshortening of the phalanges. The fingers should be parallel to the IR and also fan out fingers to separate all digits. Here's an example of the 45 degree hand wedge, although some facilities may or may not use them. Your last position in the series will be a lateral hand. This is what the positioning for your lateral hand will look like from all angles. Rotate the hand and wrist into a lateral position with the thumb up. Your central ray will be on the second MCP joint. Spread fingers into a fan position. Make sure to keep all digits parallel to the IR. A tip to help with this is to have the patient make an OK sign with their hand. Collimate to all four sides and leave your marker on the lateral side. The entire hand, wrist, and one inch of the distal forearm should be visible. Fingers should appear equally separated with phalanges lateral and joint spaces open. Hand and wrist should be in a true lateral position indicated by superimposition of radius and ulna. After you finish, be sure to review and edit all of your images before sending off. Show the patient back out to the rating room or back to their room. Lastly, clean and straighten up the exam room before bringing in the next patient.